hurting my elbow! He's hurting my wrist! You're hurting me, Sheriff! You're hurting me, Sheriff! <laughs> Woman gets dragged off of Spirit Airlines plane after having this panic while it looks like she's summoning in demon face syndrome. Now, somebody has to be trolling me. They have got to be trolling me because this story comes hot, comes fresh, a day after I dropped my Tiffany G video. This is my final warning. Please, please, please. Get off the plane! Get off the plane! I can't breathe! I can't breathe! All right, ladies and gentlemen, we will need everyone to... Ladies and gentlemen, I can't breathe! ...deplane the aircraft. I'm so sorry for the people are terrible! Now, I'm only being sarcastic. I know one does not have to do with the other, but this story actually affects me personally because even though Spirit Airlines gets a bad rap due to either its customer service or delays, it's actually the only airlines that I will fly on, mainly due to the fact that most of my destinations are less than two hours away. I'm not a long flyer. So if I'm gonna take a short flight, I'm not gonna spend all this money on another airlines when I can get a cheaper flight with Spirit. Also is the fact that Spirit is the first airlines that I have ever flown with my wife. Matter of fact, it's the first plane that I've ever flown on, period. I've always been scared to fly. And so Spirit has made me very comfortable. Spirit has given me a great experience where they have been my go-to carrier. Also, they are not Boeing. We are hearing all these issues with Boeing planes and Spirit, their fleet, are Airbus. While Boeing is out here whacking whistleblower soprano style, Spirit, Airbus, they're just trying to get me to my destination and I greatly appreciate that. Also, none of my airplane stories where people are seeing something on their flights or acting like they're possessed by a demon has never involved Spirit. I have never made a video that has involved Spirit. Well, unfortunately, my friends, today is the day. Today, that streak comes to an end and I have to make a video because I am minutes of planes. You can hear the hurt in my voice. I don't wanna make this video, but I have to. It's like putting down old Yeller. Watch woman go absolutely nuts as she's dragged off Spirit Airlines flight in a very cartoonish manner. Viral footage shows the moment an unidentified woman was arrested on a Spirit Airlines plane after an over the top meltdown that rivaled Jim Carrey's contortionist performance in The Mask. This all ties into and plays into demon face syndrome. Because if you look at some of Jim Carrey's facial expressions, especially in The Mask, it does look like he contorts his face into a demon. Now, I'm not saying Jim Carrey is a demon, but he can make some very freaky faces that can fall along the line of demon face syndrome. Matter of fact, if there was going to be a movie based on demon face syndrome, I would hire Jim Carrey. Now, this clip was posted on TikTok on March 23rd. Looks like I had to keep updated with my TikTok, which you can follow me, Seconds of Horror. But this clip showed several Las Vegas Metropolitan Police officers 
confronting the suspect as the plane sat on the tarmac ahead of takeoff. That is also another eerie connection with all these plane videos is that these panics, these people going berserk on their flights do not happen as the plane is in the air for whatever reason before takeoff while they're still on the ground, they start to have these panic attacks. Now it very well could be due to the fact that they are suffering with anxiety from the plane taking off and they have this breakdown, but we have not seen so many stories come out about planes and people having these demonic-like outbursts on these flights. Think back before the C-19 when people were flying everywhere. We did not get an abundance of these weird plane stories. 2016, 2015, 2014, I mean, I don't remember it. Just very recent, people just out of nowhere just started to get this anxiety which was leading to this outburst. People wanna say that this is also mental illness, but did the mentally ill just start recently flying? Somebody has to make this make sense to me. Something had to trigger all these similar stories. Now, here's the weird part. It was also unknown why the cops were called to arrest this woman. Nobody knows why. They just came to take her away. But as soon as the clip started, it became immediately apparent why the unidentified woman was acting erratically. There is no video clip that I can find anyway that shows what happened prior to the police or supposedly the police taking this unidentified woman away, which is scary because there's also multiple videos and videos that I've covered where authorities or people who are supposed to be authorities are just taking people off their flights. And they're even stating that they are being trafficked. I am being trafficked. I am being human trafficked. I am being human trafficked. I am being... These plane stories are just so weird. We didn't know Tiffany G's name for a month and a half after her incident. Same thing with Tom Cowling. We still don't know what Tom Cowling saw, didn't see, and so forth. He's just not speaking. These stories are just so bizarre. And so we have police arresting this woman, taking this woman away, and nobody knows why. Maybe she did something back at the airport where the police had to come and take her away. We don't know. Now listen to this, she states that she can't breathe. She also says, why are you touching my leg? She repeatedly demanded, prompting the officers to appear to smirk as giggles erupted through the cabin amid the cartoonish performance. She's yelling out, why are you touching my leg? Police are arresting her, nobody knows a reason, and they're smirking, that's pretty freaky. Now I don't know what this woman did, but just reading that, it just doesn't sit right with me. Now this story actually gets a little more bizarre. As she repeatedly screams, I can't breathe, which is a reference to George Floyd's dying words, the flight attendant is heard over the intercom telling everyone they would need to deplane the aircraft, prompting a loud collective groan. Now, I don't know the protocols behind every airlines, but every video I've seen where a passenger is arrested and taken off the plane other passengers do not deboard. They're sitting in their seats, and once this passenger has been removed, then the plane takes off like usual. Commenters took to the post to speculate on what could have prompted the outburst, with some saying that that's a evil spirit in her possession, happening right in front of everyone, one person wrote. And it's just so eerie how everyone giggles and laughs, and we even have the police smirking. It really does feel like there's real evil on these planes. Like this reminds me of Tom Cowling's situation when he got up out of his seat and he started to panic over seeing something he was sitting next to. Nobody was concerned over what was freaking him out. They were all laughing, giggling, jumping out of their seats like they were having this good time as he was being tackled. But not once did anybody go see what was causing him to panic, which is weird. You're about to be 30,000 feet in a metal tube. There's nowhere to go. And if a person's freaking out over something they're sitting next to, first thing I'm going to do as a rational person is to check out what's causing them to panic. No, everybody's acting like they're having the best time of their lives. Like something's taken over the entire plane. Very scary. When we talk about these people having these bizarre breakdowns on these planes, nobody mentions the passengers and their behaviors. Tiffany G's flight, the passengers are acting like they're mesmerized. Nobody goes on her flight to see 
what was causing her to panic as well. Nobody takes a look at the MFR. Nobody records her seeing locations. Same thing with Tom Cowling. Even in another article, it states that in a video from March 23rd that has gone viral online, a female passenger sitting on a Spirit Airlines aircraft had an explosive outburst that caused those around her to film and chuckle. If I was on this flight, I would not find this funny one bit. I would be very, very concerned. I would be freaked out myself. But in any case, I do want to hear from you. Please comment in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this channel and you want to see more, please subscribe. If you're already subscribed, please like, as any engagement does help the channel grow. Once again, thank you so much for your support.